friends and welcome to another Tuesday travel vlog where every Tuesday I post a new video about the cool places that I've been as I travel my RV cross country. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and the bell icon so you can get notified of every new video. Today's Tuesday travel vlog comes to you from Yosemite National Park. There are four entrances to the park. The most northern entrance is the most popular as that includes Tioga Pass. Tioga Pass is a very windy, curvy, steep road that takes you through the mountains and it's supposed to be absolutely stunning. Be warned though, it can be closed in the winter time. In the summer months, up until October, it is reservation only. You do need to go online and reserve your entrance. You can't just roll up and expect to come in. I decided it was not within my best interest to bring my camper into Yosemite due to all the tight curves and the steep hills. So I traveled down to the furthest entrance and found myself a campground outside of Oakhurst, California. And I left my camper there and I went into Yosemite through the southernmost entrance known as Fish Camp. From there, I traveled north until I got to Yosemite Valley. The views that I have been afforded while driving through Yosemite are just undescribable. I'm so glad um, that obviously I decided to take just the truck and not the camper through this area. While it's quite possible, and I have seen uh, a few smaller motorhomes come through, there is no way uh, I personally would have felt comfortable doing this with my camper. So what I did not expect while driving through parts of this park was finding villages. I mean, this is where people clearly live full time. Not just campers or cabins, but full houses uh, and a school. Parking at Yosemite Park is very, very difficult. At any of the major areas, there is very limited parking, let alone parking for a nice big truck or any sort of larger vehicle. They do have a shuttle bus here that takes you through the park. Um, while driving through the park, I find is actually half the fun. The parking is not. So it might be a recommendation for those of you that don't want to drive and just want to sightsee or don't want to deal with the parking. I recommend taking the Yosemite shuttle. So I've been in the park now for about two hours. Made a little stops here and there to take some pictures. I'm finally getting my first hike of the day in. It's 12.30, the heat of the day, so I'm not rushing my way through any hikes. But I am on the Yosemite Falls Trail, and this little path should take me to the falls and some beautiful areas. It's going to take me to the lower falls, not the upper. Um, the upper is like a seven-hour hike. I don't have all day to do that, so we're just going to do the smaller one. Much of Yosemite is covered in these giant redwoods. Redwoods are the tallest tree in the world with long, skinny trunks, often confused with sequoias that are the largest in the world in terms of mass. Sequoias generally have a larger base than your redwood. In January of 1997, the floodwaters from the snowmelt flooded the valley to its highest point, which is five feet over the bridge that I'm currently standing on. Yosemite Valley is the most popular spot within Yosemite National Park um, because it has does have the visitor center as well as some food, some lodging, some parking, but it takes you to Yosemite Falls. You can follow a nice easy path to the base of the falls, and if you're adventurous, you can boulder climb to the very base of the falls and be able to enter into the water. Yes, I climbed all the way up here just to get to the bottom of this waterfall. Don't tell my mother. There is no doubt that I have absolutely loved the mountains of Yosemite. The white granite jetting up into the sky have just been absolutely gorgeous. And as I mentioned, driving through this park with the windy roads has been half the fun. 
just getting out there uh, and driving around and just looking at some of these absolutely gorgeous views. This portion of the Yosemite visit takes me to Mariposa Grove, which is most famously known for the Grizzly Giant. The Grizzly Giant is this large sequoia tree. It is about the size of the Statue of Liberty. This is the Fallen Monarch. Um, just scroll up so you can see how big this guy actually is at the root. They say nobody actually knows when this tree fell or how old it actually is. Look at the size of this tree. We're just gonna keep walking and from one end to the other. And we're still going. We're not done yet. Nope, still going. There we go. Very top of this tree. Let's look back on that. Looking back on it, the fallen monarch. So thanks for traveling along with me. I always appreciate having your company as I travel from one coast to the other and I see some amazing things. Be sure to check out all my other travel vlog videos and I will see you next Tuesday.